Let's talk about a fun sports ownership situation that has nothing to do with Donald Sterling or the District of Columbia. But seriously, f Donald Sterling. Owning an NBA team must be just the greatest. You have the money, the power, the throngs of adoring fans who show up no matter what in New York Knicks, and in the case of Glenn Taylor, owner of the Minnesota Timberwolves, you can act like a scorned lover and it's all just sort of entertaining. I'm gonna paraphrase here what he said about Kevin Love and the trade to Cleveland. He gets hurt a lot, doesn't really play a lot of defense, won't get the credit when things go right, is gonna get the blame when things go not so right. It's entertaining as all hell. Now all this might strike you as immature, being a little bit too publicly bitter, but I'm here to tell you it's okay. He doesn't answer to anybody, not his GM, not his coach. He's in charge. He does answer to the fans, and here's the good news. He actually did right by T-Wolves fans. The Wolves now officially have a young, talented core that now with this trade includes the last two number one overall picks, Thad Young from Philadelphia, no real crippling contracts on the books. Pekovic is expensive, but it's not like they're done until like 2022. New York Knicks. They're not gonna make the playoffs in the short term, but there's hope. They're exciting, they have athletes. T-Wolves, you have my attention. And finally, I can only talk about the land of 10,000 lakes for so long without a Prince gift. Prince, what do you think about this trade? No, I get it. I get that. I get, okay. Mm. Hey, thanks for watching this SB Nation video. If you liked it, do us a solid and click that thumbs up button. And for more from SB Nation, subscribe to our channel. And while you're at it, how about watching one of these videos over here? Come on, what else are you doing today? Click it. Go.